Hello, Kleist here, Card Revolution. Uh, so apparently the deck editing place is right from the right. And uh, yeah, the plan was to edit our Inolus deck, probably rename it as well. Um, because there was a mission we wanted to send Inolus out on. And yeah, let's like get a Demon Fork and a Live Auk in. Uh, take out the barriers in favor of Soul Barriers. Yeah, and then we want to make one other deck, and we're going to do two missions. I'll throw in another guard. Uh, let's take out some swords. Um, and, like, handguns, I guess. Can I take out more stuff? Do I have more good stuff to include? I wish I had more spells. I've got five spells. I guess that is a sixth of the deck. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. This, it'll have to do. <laughs> oh, wait. How do I rename it? Ah, like this. This is an Ionelist deck. Alright, and then we need to make a deck for our new hunter. Or land. Wait, no. We got even three new people and we haven't even finished trying out... Or did we? I think I did finish trying out everyone, didn't I? But we should make a new deck for one of these people. We've got a force, a hunter, and a ranger. Um, wow. They they don't like having hit points, apparently. Uh, so, AT swap perm. Swaps its own attack and tech power every time it attacks. Remains even after the attack, and effective with equipped items. So I guess you want to start on a tech, and then make a normal attack, and then use attack again. So that's pretty interesting. Um, Orland. Sword bonus. Uh, increases by half the number of sword type items on the field. So he's good against other hunters, even. And of course, you want to set a lot of swords on him. And what do you have? Anti abnormality, of course, because you're a robot. Um, all attack point costs increase by one. Occurs. Wait. And he only has two attack power? That seems negative, but I guess... Um, this is his big drawing point, Elude. Um, does not lose HP even if an equipped item is destroyed, so as long as you can keep setting things, you never die. I guess I'll make a deck for him. Um, what was he? He was a ranger? Um, <laughs> yeah, of course he was. Alright, so we're not going to want to have any attack action that costs two in here, because that would be three action points, which is just far too much to, I think, expect to have on an attack phase. I would most of the time rather swing two weapons, so we're not going to include slash, we're not going to include stab. Stab isn't really that great with guns anyway, because they've got range anyway. Yeah, we'll put in all the guns. We'll probably want big guns so we can get more done with less attack. That actually, I realized, is a reason you might want expensive cards in, even in a deck that's meant for a map that has low maximum rolls. Because once you get it set, your future attacks are more efficient. Uh, so, that's only 11 cards so far. Put in shields, because uh, why not? Um, mags make our attacks more efficient. Uh, let's put in that mag too. Uh, maybe. Uh, uh, no, it's three times the cost for basically the same effect, because we can't cast techs on this guy. Uh, the attack card is still going to be good. 
Uh, I don't think long arm will really help us much. Normal assault. Uh, wait. Aren't we an android? Why, why can't I put text in this deck? I'm confused. Oh well, let's not worry about it. Uh, defensive actions are good, of course. I guess I set some sabers. Preferably ones, or preferably ones that have good attack power value. Like, I guess the Diska of Brave Man. One nice thing about Slicers and Diska are that if you're surrounded in melee and you take one step, you can hit everything that was just surrounding you. Obviously, if it's a full surround, you can't take the step, but if you're surrounded on three sides, you're going to strike exactly the correct squares. Um. Hmm. Alright, that's apparently our deck. <sighs> wow, that lag... That may have desynced my audio. Uh, I think that was his name. G pretty close. <laughs> Guy killed. <laughs> so I, I put an extra U in it. That's fine. Don't worry about it. We we spent like six or seven minutes editing decks. Let's let's get to fighting. Oh wait, well, let's get to talking actually. I I didn't talk with the new people, which is probably why I forgot they existed. Uh do I want to talk to this guy? Probably. It's me. I heard about a job and actually I didn't, but I decided to talk to you. Okay. Hal wants to fight some guy. And we want to fight the guy first to find how good he is. Alright. We can either take it or not take it. I'll probably do that mission, I guess. Oh! Hey, there's a unit here. Or, or wait, maybe I was mixing up the um, story character name and the uh, deck name. Maybe I missed the U as I was naming my deck. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot to say. But it's different. Gazing? Yeah? He didn't bzzz four times in a row at the end? Gazing? Okay. I think he ran out of stuff to say. Oh, I think I always talk with this guy. Um, You, you're the new force. Who am I? I... what? Yeah? Okay. You're, you're assigned... No, I'm not the janitor. You're looking for... You're looking for someone important. I'm important. Yes, I'm the commander. Nice, nice to meet you. Yes, I, I'm really the commander. I, I look kind of like a robot, though. Being a robot. Oh, you're, you're highly skilled, but you judge on appearances even though you say that you look young. You need an equally skilled commander and hope I'm up to the task. Uh, I actually really like that force's abilities. I, I didn't say that before, but I do. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm the commander. You're here with Relmatos to protect him. You have two friends, your sword and your will. And I guess not Relmatos. Kranz is energetic. Alright. Uh, and people are either searching for fathers or don't like them. And you wanted to be deployed with crayons, right? What? Y you pass, sure. Your, your techniques are improving and I can leave the fighting to you. Alright, so we're going to do challenge and then we're going to do the map that makes us send two people. So that I remember to send Inalus. I'm going to select a stage. Wait. I know there was a map where we send two people. Q. 
can you only do some portion of the missions on each tier? Whatever. Or maybe maybe it was an optional one that I got from talking with Inolus and I needed to do it before the story maps. That would make sense. It will be available in free battle now. But maybe uh, maybe I should go do it, but not now. We're 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 doing st stuff that isn't that. Um we're going to send got killed. Yeah, these are my deck names. Weird. I Maybe the game doesn't know what he's called. Whoops. Maybe I'm bad at interacting with menus. <laughs> Alright, so the goal of our deck should have probably been to set a lot of little things, but... I don't know. His, his two passives, besides anti-abnormality, kind of work against each other. You want to set a lot of little things so that as they break, you um, get value out of your passive that makes you not take one damage. Because also, like, yeah, over. I mean, they can't overflow the damage on your weapon and actually deal damage to you. They have to actually destroy all your stuff, usually one at a time. Uh, yeah, I would like one of my shields if possible. I got a shield. Um... But I mean, the thing that makes your attacks cost two action points uh, kind of disrupts that just a lot. Uh, so I guess there are warps on this map? Is that what's going on? Can I inspect them in any way? Can I inspect my enemy? KC! Oh, he's got fixed range and EXP bonus. And reasonable-ish stats. He must be a hunter to have that low stats. So so he'll be augmenting them with equipment. I'm gonna set everything that costs two because I can. <laughs> I, I guess I just like using turn one to set things up. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to set that because you can only set a total cost of eight. I guess if I set the other shield I would be really tough to kill. Oh! He actually is an Arx. Interesting. So he's just an Arx that isn't good at fighting at all. He's not like, um, Break. Break had high stats, I recall. Alright, so can I walk forward to and shoot with my shot? I can. I could even walk forward- oh wait, I can only walk forward one. Because I didn't roll a six, of course. <laughs> but I think it, I, my rifle has enough range, doesn't it? No? Why not? I don't know. Oh well. He'll probably waste like all his action points just walking up to me. Oh! You can't shoot over blank squares. I think that's the issue. I think there might be a blank space intervening. It's, it's hard to tell on the grid. But, there might be a hole there. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, and that's why I can't move into that... Oh wait, I could move into that space before because I didn't have the action points. But I still can't move into that space because it's not physically there. Uh, I almost don't need to kill that Rappy. I could just go for the teleporter and... I wouldn't actually be able to shoot him this turn. So I think I am gonna shoot this Rappy. I guess I should have actually considered which of my weapons I wanted to shoot with, but it doesn't matter what choice I made because he didn't use any defensive cards. Alright, I have plenty of defensive actions. Alright, it's another Al Rappy. I guess I should have inspected it to determine its stuff. So I guess there are three ways across the middle of this map. There are... Um, the teleporters, that's two ways, and the actual path through the middle. That kind of makes a lightning bolty shape. I, I don't know how to describe it other than that. Of course, he's blocking the warp at the moment. And the move phase comes after the act phase. 
But I'll just blow his thing away and then next turn maybe it'll be clear. Um, that looks like I did make the right choice to attack with last turn anyway. Alright. Alright, he's defending against the... Okay, so I'm actually going to leave it with one health. Which is kind of inconvenient. I should have used my actual attack card, but I figured I was gonna overkill it too, so even if he had dodge, I was gonna kill it. But then it didn't die. <laughs> oh, he got a 2 and a 1 though, so he's not gonna do much this turn. What a... Nah. I can't inspect it now. I'm just gonna take the 1 damage. <laughs> I guess that's kind of a waste of action points, but I don't care. Hmm. Alright, got a six. I might want to move. I'm going to start heading up the middle. And I can... Oh wait, I can't shoot. Wait. I can shoot across the empty space? Maybe I just miscounted squares then on that other turn when I wanted to shoot and couldn't. Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna throw away this. I'm not gonna be able to set it for a long time. Both my shields would have to break down. After the first shield goes down, I'm gonna equip the mag, though. Oh, Mothman. I might favor the purple warp. Or I might favor he's walking up. <laughs> uh. Oh wait, it would tell me on the left half of the screen if he was going to inflict a status. I guess I'll just... I don't know, I'll take it. Okay, I'm going to block this. Because, you know, it was going to deal 2 damage. That's way too much. Yeah. Still can't set anything because nothing broke. And, yeah, I can hit both of them with this. And I can't use the attack card because it would reduce my range to 1. I don't have the fixed range passive. I guess I just continue cycling cards until I get something else to cost one, maybe? I guess I didn't set very many cost one cards. There's just the other mag. Man. Why was this deck built so terribly? I mean, somebody needs to learn what they're doing. <laughs> um, he's probably also going to shoot me. I'll just, I'll just start using defensive cards like it doesn't matter. I, I'm far too much of a tank with two shields and it, it just doesn't matter. Also, I have failed to inspect the enemy hero, I believe. Oh, uh, wait, that's, that's a creature, but I should inspect it too. It's Ariel. Yeah, because I looked at his stats. Oh yeah, fixed range and the XP bonus. Okay. Yeah, I can't set anything because I have too much stuff. Um. Okay, so... I could shoot him. I could shoot this. If I hit this, I could use my actual attack card. I think I'm just going to kill his thing. I guess it's a creature that cost him one, so it's almost not worth killing. It's got one attack power. But I get dice bonus, and I really need dice bonus because my attacks are so expensive. Um. <laughs> Alright, so if he breaks a shield, I set both mags, and then I can really deal some damage with my attacks. He 
didn't attack me. Was I out of range? Oh, he ran out of action points. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, I think I can hit him with the rifle. And if not, I can shoot the insect. Yeah, I'm just going to shoot him. <laughs> I've had enough of shooting these insect things. <laughs> Maybe I'll only do one mission today, because this is already going on a while, and I've dealt one damage to him. Alright, there's something special about that type of slime, but he's out of action points. I'll inspect it on my set phase. Set. It it sure has stats. Breed. Well, summoning another card of the same type is free. And it basically has flying and it doesn't cost action points to move it. It does cost four to set. Oh, and it even has range. Wow, what a creature. Um, well, I can attack with both weapons. I'm still kind of interested in shooting him, even though there's like this massive creature next to me. Uh, I guess if I can kill the insect, I can move. Wall! Why would you ever use that over guard? I'll have to check the card history. Oh, maybe guard can't be used on allies, but wall can. Alright, we got some dice bonus. That's why we kill enemies. Yep. Okay, let's check the battle history. Wall. Use on ally, okay. You can use it while an ally is selected. And let's compare that to guard. Yeah, guard does not have use on ally, okay? So that's why you might take a uh, wall over guard. Since I'm a hunter, I would never take wall over guard. Unless I like already had three guards set and I just wanted even more. <laughs> in, in that case, I'm not really taking it over guard, though. I'm just also taking it. Uh, I guess I take... Or I use dodge. Kind of want him to break the thing anyway, but... It would be advantageous for him for me to not have that shield. Oh, he's breaking it anyway. Alright, so next turn if I get a 6, I set both my mags and then shoot him twice probably. Slime has 9 hit points. Okay, so my dice bonus allowed me to get at least 3, so I can set 1 mag. Um... I still want to shoot, though. I could move. That would make him waste some action points. Except, wait, no. The slime can move for free. Uh, let's just shoot. Do I want to shoot him or the slime? Did I damage the slime? No. It has nine hit points still. Uh, I don't know. I probably actually do really want that slime dead. I will begin aggressing towards the slime. I need some more defense cards. Uh, yeah, let's just... Uh, I don't want to pitch the mag, because I can still set that. Yeah, I don't think he's going to break through my second shield this turn. Oh, he rolled a six. This could be potentially bad. He's going to get to put even more stuff down and attack. Or he didn't put anything down and he's just attacking. Yeah, I might as well use the dodge now. Two hit points are gonna be two hit points, whether I use it on this or use it on him. Alright, so if he doesn't have any use on ally okay defense actions on his next turn, then... Well, actually... Even if he can defend one point of damage, which I don't think anything defends just one point of damage. Can I actually move anywhere? Um, 
I don't want to move here. Uh, either way, I can still shoot. I guess I can shoot twice if I stay in place. Maybe that's what I'll prefer to do. Let's see, with both mags, this will deal... 4 damage. That'll kill the slime. If I shoot him first, he'll probably waste any defensive cards he has. Yeah, and that's even a use on ally okay defensive card that he just used. Okay, so hopefully he didn't have two defensive cards. Because I, I do want this dead. Alright, so it's a good thing I didn't decide to shoot that twice, because I would have just wasted the second shot. I want more defensive cards. I got one. I could save my shield for another turn then. Unless he sets something that can also attack. But he didn't set anything at all. Oh, he, he even used an action card that I get to still fully block. Yeah, so the, the reason I might have wanted to move last turn is if I went through the green warp, then I could be next to him. And that would be pretty convenient for me. I'd get to start like, shooting both weapons easily. So I still have 8 points worth of stuff set. Um, I can't reach him with both weapons from here, but if I move, I don't think I'm going to be able to hit him with the rifle. I could move here and hit him with the shot, at least. I'd give up on one damage, but be closer to being able to hit him twice. Alright, he's reducing our damages. I do have the board clear, though. Oh, actually, handguns are cost one. I have those in this deck. So, it didn't have to be just mags. Because I forgot, I set all the guns that I own. It occurs to me that if I do finish going through this middle passage, he's probably just gonna take the green warp. Oh. Or he's going to move conveniently so that I can hit him with both weapons. <laughs> I mean, sure, that means that he can hit me with his weapon. Uh, sure. I'll make the shield die to his attack instead of to the Rappi's attack. So that he doesn't also destroy some of my actual equipment. I mean, sure, I could have just used dodge on the second attack. And then it wouldn't have destroyed my actual equipment. Okay. So next time he strikes, he's going to be probably destroying one of my mags, I would guess. But I can deal significant damage to him right now. Ooh, double sixes. I can even set a handgun and then shoot three times, each of which will be at plus two for my mags. Yeah, I could roll a seven due to the dice bonus, of course. Do I want to kill the Rappy? Uh, probably. Uh, I probably want to shoot the actual enemy with the rifle. Because the rifle has the most damage, and I, I'm not interested in overkilling the Rappy. I guess I was interested in overkilling it enough that he ha if he had a dodge, it would have still died. Plus, I mean, I couldn't attack the story character with attack. The, the action card, I mean, because it would have reduced my range. Alright, we'll actually wrap up this episode in under half an hour. Uh, yeah, toss stuff that costs three, because I'm not going to be able to set it, even if he breaks one of my things. If he broke two of my things, I could set something that costs three, unless it was both mags, of course. Alright, yeah. Wow, I think that's the fourth Alrappy he set. He may have been through his entire deck, though, so... Oh, it's not even going to break my thing. Um, he could have just reshuffled, because, I mean, you can't set things more than three in your deck. That was almost the best way of phrasing that. Alright, so I had to get at least... I'm, I can still hit him with my shot, because it has the T-shape. Um... I'm going to shoot the Rappy first to hope that he wastes, like, a defensive card. 
<laughs> Next level strategies. I guess it also uh, it pads my rank a little if I can kill both it and him. Alright, got him. C. Not actually that great. I was expecting slightly better. Hmm. Oh, I got a card level up. Whatever those do. <laughs> Alright, we got monster and another monster. Ooh! Nice looking wand. Another monster. Sword. Another monster. <laughs> Summit Moon. Cost four, but has a lot of tech power. I guess it has the same tech power as a wand, which costs two. It has hit points, though. Oh, TP assist. Before each attack act, the equipper of this card and all ally characters within one block temporarily gain one TP. Um, so it really has four tech power, basically. And if I'm in a two-on-two -two mission, I can help my ally. Uh, help. I'm not sure how worth it that is. Yeah, KC, I guess, has some strong cards, and Duder Hal is reconsidering. But we're the champion, so, I mean, we are the champion. Alright, looks, looks like definitely a one mission day, but uh, yeah, see ya!